Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today going to do the hidden spine in this little journal. So we will get to that as soon as I say hi and hugs to Karen, Angela, Deanna, and Jennifer. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. You all are just the best. Okay, 20 till. That's I had to look at my watch here and see so okay let's let's get going on this let's get going on this okay so what we are going to do is make a template first get get my get my brain in order here <laughs> easier said than done Okay, so I just have a piece of leftover cardstock, and I am just going to cut it to the size of my spine. And of course, I've used the paper um, that I used for the cover, which is still packed away, so I can't tell you. It's from a paper pack. Um, oh, talk amongst yourselves, I'll grab it. Okay, got it. Sorry about that. I meant to grab it before I started filming. Timeless Memories by Prima. And it's all very neutral. And so um, I, that's what I wanted was super neutral. Okay, let's cut our little template. Can you tell I'm still not kind of in my groove for videos? <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that paper pad was in my little, um, I don't know, my little carrying cart thing for, for my craft supplies and it was under my table and it was stuck and oh my gosh. So, okay. So this is, let's see, let's get our ruler. This is seven and a quarter seven and a quarter by about one and three quarters, but seven and a quarter. So the middle, and you guys, I, I eyeball more than measure, but seven and a quarter, so three and a half. So about right here is the middle. So I'm going to go with that. Let's put this over there and I'm just going to kind of line this guy up and give it Give it a little line at the middle. It's close enough, let's just say. So I like to draw a line. It feels like it's a little off, but it's close. Okay, then I like to go about an inch down. I'm going to go three quarters of an inch just because this is a smaller spine so let's do three quarters of an inch on each side and then I'm going to draw a line again again we're going to draw a line so I hope you're all having a good day I am I was excited to come I just want to get a few of these things more on the road we I thought I was going to have a kind of a free time to do um some listing of journals and all that stuff. Well, our girls, Addie and Katie, are going to play in. Um, they're going to play in a basketball tournament, and of course, it's two hours away. So we'll be driving tomorrow again. <laughs> My goodness, we have been now. I'm eyeballing the middle. I'm just going to go right about there. Call that. Call that the middle, and I'm going to put a dot. So yeah, we'll be in the in the car on a road trip yet again. Yeah, that's pretty close. It's fine. So yeah, that's that's happening tomorrow. So I wanted to get video done today. That is so not in the middle, but it's okay. It'll be fine. Well, okay. Sorry, the perfectionist in me is coming out, but that feels too far 
one side. So I'm going to just change it because, you know, we're in charge here. So that looks more like the middle to me. I do better eyeballing than I do measuring. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to just eyeball because the ruler is not my friend right now. <laughs> it's not helping. So, um, so anyway, I wanted to get this video done and I'm hoping to get another one done before we head out. I know this won't be sh showing on the weekend, but okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to poke. You can tape this with, if you want, washi tape it or something. I don't really find that necessary. So I'm just going to do all my holes. And as you can see, I'm going through the template, using it as my guide and poking the hole in what's going to be the actual spine. My friend Eve was telling me she's been doing her signature holes with her crocodile so i'm gonna have to try that i haven't done that but i'll have to try that okay i'd have to use my big one which i don't even know maybe i don't even have it anymore it wasn't working well to put in the uh, eyelets so it's kind of gone by the wayside okay so there's there's our spine all right, so we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna grab our little signatures and I'm gonna get some clips. And we're gonna clip that in. And I wanna get my papers kind of set where I want them. Just all sorts of random papers. This was kind of the collection of randomness from my retreat it's really what it is and um in case you missed it the box that oops where is the middle here guys i missed the middle oh there it is um the box that i made the cover from is a rotini box from the dinner i made at the retreat i was like Hmm, well, I'll just go ahead and make a cover while I'm here. That's how, that's how I, I just got all sorts of distracted by this and that's and just did whatever sort of spoke to me. It was really, that was fun, you know. I mean, I had my journal kits to do if, you know, but I really kind of, so I'm going to say top here just so I remember, and then... We're just going to kind of center this because, of course, this is longer than the signatures because you want them to sit into your book and not poke out the top unless you want them to poke out the top. And this is the reason that I draw the line because then I can go along here and be able to punch the holes at the right, at the right spot. Okay. This is my handy dandy book cradle from Amy at Crafty Cat USA on Etsy. I love it. I don't know how I ever lived without it. I made a lot of journals before I had it, but it certainly wasn't as easy poking my signature holes. So, okay, so there's that. Oh, that is the first, that's the first one. So that's going to go there. I find it actually easier to sew in the third signature than the second, than the first. So let's just get these all poked. We'll just poke them all and then we'll go from there. what did I do with, oh, what did I do? They're over there. No, nope, that's not going to work. Well, Honestly, does that have to be? I think I thought that went well with that. But how does that go? I mean, it's fine. Let's use this as the first signature. Because what I'm thinking 
is um, I can decorate that front and then the first page will be decorated. Okay, so let's let's count this as the third signature and then we'll we'll get those done because I want to go ahead and sew it in so I can get my clips off so I can go on to the next signature. Okay, so what are we going to use to it, we don't need to use anything anything real pretty for the sewing. And I've got some of this. Let's just use this. It's the waxed linen thread. And again, you go three times your signature like so. Clip it off. Let's see, I need a needle. Okay. And I just do three whole pamphlet stitch. I'm not a fancy binder. I wish I was kind of, but I'm not. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got our little hidden spine. We're just going to go right in this middle one. I'm going to hold that with my thumb. We're going to go through this one. I didn't do a very good job poking that, but it's going to work. Okay. And so, whoa. Not that tight. <laughs> oh. Do as I say, not as I do. Isn't that a thing? Okay. Then we're going to go through here, back through. We're going to go through this one. And the signature like so and we're gonna pull it tight but not too tight there we go see how that's okay and in we go there okay so we've got the first signature in not without a little angst but we got her in Okay, there we go. So there's the, it's, we, we've we sewn in the first of our signatures, but it's at the third position, if that makes sense. See, the other two will go here. Yeah. Okie dokie, let's do, let's do number two. Okay, so this guy. All right. I have a little hair tickle in my nose. We can't have these distractions. <laughs> okay. Clip it in. Like so. There is uh, the whole making sure you've got it right side up thing too. Just double check yourself. Oh, you know what I didn't do on this that I would have liked to is, let me line this up to the holes. I want to put a little mark right here at the top so I know how far down I went. If that makes sense to where I position this to draw my, to draw my marks. you can see that it's hard because this does this really wants to close okay let's do this thing my husband's been busy this morning he's home now but he's been busy this morning refueling up all the vehicles because we've just been the grandparent road warriors so last night we were in bozeman our little katie had her eighth grade graduation and that was really nice so cute they're all so cute it was so cute you guys you'll love this their little principal when he was given he was the last one to speak some of the teachers gave awards like an art award and athletic awards and different things like that and um and he was last and he he gave they called it the wildcat award and it was for you know just being an all-around really good kid good friend good student you know all that stuff well 
he started to cry it was so cute I just thought oh you're such a good principal you love your kids <laughs> and so yeah so he he was kind of sad it was the end of the school year it was his first year as principal there so I'm sure it was a little emotional for him but I really appreciated that I thought now there's a guy who cares about his students okay I didn't pu push it good enough hole really so now I'm struggling okay get that in there let's hold this string and pull and see what we can do putting it in that okay I don't what you don't want to do is catch your catch your thread because then you can't pull it tight I'm struggling a little bit. Excuse me. That happens. This is, to me, anyway, it's not as... See, I went through the thread. You can't do that. There we go. I think I got it. Um, it's not as easy as a regular spine, in my, in my view. So, but it's awesome. It's an awesome way to... You know, I could have waited to put this lace on and just gone ahead and um, sewn it in just to the cover, but I just kind of, I don't know, it's how I wanted the lace on the outside. Okay, so that feels like it's pretty good and tight. So we're just going to tie it off. See, there we go. Okay. That double knotted. Okay, the last one. Yeah, it'll be great to have some of these projects. You know, I need to, I need to start my Blue Fern Studios project and um, that I want to kind of do consecutive videos on that start to finish if you will and so um, so yeah I wanted to get some of these other projects a bit on the road so that I could do that okay yeah it was kind of fun I just grabbed papers that I had with me at the retreat which you know it's it's kind of nice sometimes not to have all the choices because sometimes I feel like that boggles my brain and then I'm like I don't you know I spend too much time fussing around about what am I gonna put in okay so we are going to mark this one Yeah, um, I haven't decided yet what papers I'm going to use in my little uh, antique book that I got at the antique mall at my retreat. haven't decided yet. It's like, I want something very, very special. I don't know I was I just had the thought when I said that maybe I should use my own digital hmm, there's a <laughs> there's a unique thought <laughs> sorry if I have gotten my head in at all but you know okay so three lengths again and then we'll be quite on the way Okay, I think I have, I have enough thread for one more binding maybe on that little spool. Okay, so in through the middle uh, again to make sure it's right side up. You can see why it's easier to go back to front because now I can just push these down and go in. So third, you know, last signature, I guess I should say, last signature to the first signature, I have found helps me. Okay. 
Yikes. Don't have enough. Don't have enough elbow room apparently. Okay, that is getting. Okay. I have my. I was grabbing the other signature, sorry. It's a little fiddly, not gonna lie. A little fiddly doing the old hidden hidden signature, but it's worth it. Sometimes it's just it's just what you need to do. Okay, so I think I did that okay. Didn't catch the thread or anything. Okay. Good, good. We're tight. <laughs> We're tight. We're uncoordinated. Come on, get on there. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's that's what happens. <laughs> okay, and then the last one. Get in there. Okay. We are just about there. Okay, so I think I know what I want to put on this, on the front, on the cover, but I want to make a digital of it first, so got to wait, got to wait to do that. Okay, so we have our three signatures all attached to the hidden spine. So there, there you have it. That's, that's how you do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it in here, right? Okay. So I use Fabri-Tac for this just because, first of all, I've got fabric tape and lace and whatnot. So, um, so that's one reason, but also just because it's a good, strong glue. And I am very generous with the glue because, you know, you don't want the spine letting loose on you. Now that's lifted up a bit, so I'm going to put some underneath there too. Because like I say, you just want to make sure you have enough to really stick it in there. Make it stay. Okay, then we're going to take our book, we're going to lay it in here, making sure that we are good and good and stuck. And I like to press down on the pages just to make sure. Okay, and the other thing that I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and clip, clip these edges. I don't know which edge I want there. It's too big for two, but this one looks like it could use it. And then I'm just going to leave that to dry. So that is the hidden spine. And gosh, we that did not take our whole time together. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do a couple other things. Like I wanted to show you the tags from yesterday, and just kind of show you the differences when they're dried and stuff. So we'll do that. Just picking up. Got to pick up because that's how I roll. Oops. Sharp objects. <laughs> careful with the sharp objects. Some of these, like the Reader's Digest ones, I've kept the template. This one I'm going to toss because I don't know that I'm going to have another Rotini box in it. Well, 
She talked herself out of it. Rotini box. I do love them for, I like the size for journals. So, and then I have just a little envelope in my um, cupboard that is for templates. So let's wipe this off. Okay. So let me grab those tags and show you guys. Scoot all this over. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you. Let's put you over here. Okay. So this one, as I said, it didn't really turn out great. I mean, if you, if you, you can kind of see, you can feel, and you can kind of see that there's something on it. But that was just an experiment going through a uh, stencil. Um, this one, I love how this turned out. It's really fun, I think. And, and the cool thing I learned on it was using the liquid pearls to draw with. So that was awesome. Uh, let's see, this one... I think, yeah, this one is um, Glossy Accents, and this one is the Nouveau Crystal uh, Glaze. And so you can see there. there's not a lot of difference in the look, but you can feel that this one's a bit thicker than this one. So I pretty much the same, actually, I have to say. This one, um, I used the stickles and then some of the liquid pearls to make a few little things. This one, I used the Nouveau Crystal um, and then a little bit of stickles and then also the uh, Wink of Stella. This one, I it's still drying because I put a little more Nouveau art. I, I like how this came out and I did figure out on this one that you can put stickles down and then put the Nouveau uh, crystal glaze over the top and you can see the stickles and that's all good. This turned out kind of funky and I missed a spot putting the um, putting the glaze on so I'm hoping that helps. Otherwise, it's going to get covered up. So, so yeah, those are those. Uh, let's just see if there's some other things we might... I'm going to set that one over there to dry that we might like to do to these tags and then they can go in the done pile. How about that? Let's just, I'm just going to finish these off. But my main purpose to, for the video today was to show you the hidden spine. So, but, but I'm, I'm super happy with this one. I really thought that was a fun little technique, if you will. Okay, that helps a lot, I think. Was There was too much. I think I'm just going to get a little crazy. There's just too much, um, not white, but light for me. That's a lot better. It's a lot better. So, anyway, um... Yeah, get a couple things. I at least I have that journal to the point where it can be decorated. I don't know what the closure is going to be yet. Probably some um, eyelets. It's probably oh, I'm knocking down papers under my desk. You know what I think this one needs is just like a little background stamping. So let's. Just see what background stamp. Oh, I have my little, my one with the, oh, oh no. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I went to grab it. It's not there. I panicked because as you can see, this is a well-loved stamp. I use it all the time. Okay, let's just, um, just going to grab my glue book and we'll just, Oh, 
There we go. I'm going to call that done. I really, I really like that tag. That's just really fun. And it just makes me happy because I learned something while I was doing it. Okay, get rid of that for now. Got a major, major something on my sleeve there. Okay, so yay, that's done. This one, I'm going to put it, I think I'll put it back in the not done pile because um, it's going to need like a focal point or something because <laughs> because my stenciling didn't work the way I had hoped. That's okay. You know, live and learn. You don't know till you try. And it's paper tag. I mean, honestly, if it if I ruined it, which I don't think I did, I just gave it another layer of texture. But if I had, I could have just tossed it. Okay, that's going it back in the to-do pile. These ones, um, this one, I was wondering if I have like uh let's see. I'm trying to remember what bag they're in. Ha! Huh. Good job, Gail. Picked it right out. I've got these. Um, I'm just wondering if there's like a frame that would go around that part that says alphabet index tabs and give it a little, give it a little something. Shoot, that one's too small. This one's probably too big. not bad but do we have something do we have something in between ish it's this one these um these frames are from amy at crafty cat too also hmm well i don't know Wonder these I got on Etsy somewhere. You know they're um, I don't know they're I think they have them on AliExpress too. But I there was some shop on Etsy that I got it. Oh gosh, it doesn't want to tear very badly. Okay, I want the middle one kind of. I think we'll see if it's a good size. Yeah. It's just kind of fun to add some things to a to a digital tag and just give it a little more dimension, I think. Ooh, that's close. I think I can push it up like that. Okay, so I don't want it to be white it's the only trouble so i could just let me get let me get my aged mahogany and we'll see what that will do i'm just gonna rub over it and give it a little color. Let's see what this does. Ah. <laughs> Don't be bending the frame, Gail. Okay, let's see how that does. Okay, that's kind of fun. Just gives it a little, little something more. Let's do I need this so let's see we'll do this one and then I'm um we'll see I need to stop here and have lunch with Mike in a minute so but I'm super excited we got that we got that book on its way with its little hidden spine so that's awesome okay I'm gonna put this at the top and then sort of let it go where it wants to on the bottom. 
Okay, that added a little something fun. Um, I'm feeling like, like right here, would I like some sort of little something? I think I could tear that down. Got myself all crowded here. Can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> can't do the crowd. Which I apologize for taking time to tidy up, but it's just it's just how I roll. Okay. Let's yeah. Might take a little tiny bit off the bottom if I can too. Phew, that worked. Good, good. Oops, I need a new sponge. I wore it out at my retreat. I'll have to remember to do that before I do another video. Jeez, let's just use this. I had these little ones out. I was using them while my big ones were packed. Okay, like that. I think one more thing is I am going to give it, excuse my squeaky chair, I'm going to give it a punch here at the top. And the reason I did that is this area was kind of blank, but I didn't want to put another thing there. So, let's just do that. There we go. Let's see if we have some ribbon or something to go on that one. We could see on this one too. Let me grab that little drawer. This is my tag topper drawer. Yep, got a drawer for just about everything, don't we? Um, this looks really good with this, I think. Okay, so let's just, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and clip that. And then I'm going to grab some twine. Actually, let's use this. And we'll just just kind of tie that on there. There we go. Put it in a little bow. And there's that take. It's all, it's all prettied up. It's got texture. It's got shine. Yeah, that one can go in the done box now. And this one, what would we like? Ooh, this, <laughs> ooh, would that be nice on that one? I think I might do that one on this one. Okay, so let's do it this way. that out a little bit go through the loop tear off some strings <laughs> and there we go there's that one fun so a couple of tags done and a hidden binding 
So thanks everybody. I better go up and have lunch with Mike, but thanks for watching and thanks for um, learning the hidden spine as well as finishing off a couple tags. So have a grateful day, everyone. We'll just see you in the next video. Bye.